to denounce gamers is now begging for $80,000 in order to remain open. Rip Bozo. Rip Bozo, chat. That is a Rip Bozo moment. Skill issue. The activist organization Take This has received significant funding from the United States government. Oh my god, my fucking taxes pay for this garbage. Oh my god, man. Dude, I will vote for whoever takes this shit, like, out of the system and doesn't let this crap, like, continue, please. Please, for the love of god, man. My taxes pay for this garbage. The organization was brought into the public eye when it posted a blog post back in March encouraging game developers to denounce Gamers for defending themselves from Sweet Baby Inc. Oh my god, man. You you need to stop bullying Sweet Baby. Oh, sweet Baby is good for you. The organization stated if you're reading this, you've probably been hearing about what now about what's now being called Gamergate 2. It's the latest targeted harassment campaign. Hold up. Last time I checked, Sweet Baby Inc. was harassing a guy in Brazil for making a Steam group that exposes uh, games that those people helped make. Or they were, like, hired by those games to, like, you know, consult them. Yeah, Cabrutas. Yeah, they, like, actually harassed them and told them to, like, get reported and shit. Take this was the ones who named it Gamergate 2. Literally nobody else was calling it that. I know. that, that it, it, It's all just, like, bullshit. And it's aimed at Sweet Baby Inc., a Montreal-based narrative development studio. Develop this dick in your mouth. How about that? Mrs. Freeze in Pride Outfit Pack in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. <laughs> Ow! As previously covered, this is a lie. The initial harassment campaign... Ah, there we go! This is what I'm talking about. The initial harassment campaign was led by Sweet Baby Inc. and its employees, Chris Kindred and Maya Kramer, against Brazilian gamer Cabrutus Rambo for creating a Steam Curator list documenting the games that Sweet Baby Inc. worked on. Oh my god, we can't expose that. That would be awful. These Sweet Baby Inc. employees could not tolerate the Steam Curator list and attempted to get Cabrutus cancelled and even tried to get Valve Steam's parent company to effectively steal his game library. Yeah, and Steam said, nah, bitch. <laughs> Steam said, nah. <laughs> Kindred posted on Twitter. The Steam curator harassment group Sweet Baby Inc. detected is led by this person. Here's them trying to be slick so they don't get reported. Oh, this is the racist person. They would say, like, the N-word and say that white people, uh, white people are horrible. Yeah, it's the same. It's this, it's this person. Even when the discriminatory language filed off, the group itself fails, to con co fails the code of conduct. Alana, you don't understand. An educated consumer is a dangerous consumer. The more they know about what's going on behind the scenes, the less they will want to support their agenda. That's why I think knowledge really is power, chat. Knowledge is power. In every respect. I always, like, research and try to ask around about shit. If you want to do something like a Brutus do on our Smurf account that put your 10k game library at risk. Yeah, but, but Steam didn't do anything. They said that he was within his right. Knowledge is not power if you can't act on that knowledge. But you're acting by by educating yourself and knowing better. What do you mean? That's like a, a, a such a contrarian thing to say. 
It totally is. If you find something out, you will avoid the thing that was misleading you. That is an action. That is a power. Knowledge is power. Kindred wrote, anyway, report the fuck out of this group. By the way, witch hunting on Twitter is, uh, is against TOS. Finally, Kindred concluded, and report the creator since he loves his account so much. What a fucking loser. What an actual fucking loser, man. Nevertheless, despite pushing an easily refuted lie, the organization that demanded developers denounce gamers opposed to Sweet Baby Inc. and their goals of injecting the objectively evil ideology of wokeness into video games. The organization wrote, You may be inclined to be quiet or cautious, but that's actually not helpful. As noted in our resource, Empowering the Game Industry. A major lesson learned from the Gamergate was the importance of taking a loud and public stance. Yeah, screaming at the top of your lungs until you get what you want. Yeah, very helpful. Take this continued. At the time, many studios were hesitant to address the hate and abuse from Gamergate in any meaningful way. The reasons varied. <laughs> But usually this hesitation was born out of fear of losing profits. No, my money! My money! The reasons vary, but usually this hesitation was born out of fear of losing profits or concern that taking a stance would attract the attention of the Gamergate mob. Oh my fucking god, Gamergate mob. Chopped hog. It then asserted, in other words, Failure to clearly and unequivocally denounce Gamergate and the harassment and abuse done in its name created a space for that hate and abuse to flourish, spread, and become normalized. Oh my god, man. Reading this shit is giving me an aneurysm. This person- the person that works for Take This that wrote this is just like Delulu beyond belief. I know how to stop this. Um... <laughs> Can you do it peacefully? Mm-mm-hmm. Hate, harassment, and toxic behavior have no place in games. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Competitiveness has toxicity in it. Cry about it, bitch. It's a nothing burger? Bro, if you let- if you let this shit stand, it will take over. It's slowly been taking over, that's why Concord happened. If you ignore this bullshit, it will keep happening. We have to keep talking about it and make- make sure that people know that this shit needs to be stopped. We ignored it, that's how it happened! Hmm. We can't vote for their wallets if they get taxpayer money. Oh, no, 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 no. You can, though. You can, because they ran out of money, chat. See, they're asking the public now for money because their taxpayer money ran out. Obviously. Less than six months after this post, the organization director resigned from her position. <laughs> Has reported... By Coward also founded the organization after encountering a 2019 nationally representative survey from ADL. It found that nearly one in four respondents were exposed to extremist white supremacy, white supremacist ideology in online games. Yeah, and? <laughs> yeah, and? So? ADL, that's cringed. Oh, yeah. What the fuck are they playing? You have to go out of your way to look for this shit, man. What a crybaby bitch, man. Wee! She wrote on X, I'm getting a lot of queries about this post, meaning I'm leaving games. I'm not leaving games, I just resigned from my former position. Of course. Uh, the Anti-Defamation League says reportedly 1 in 4 was 23% of game players are exposed to white supremacist 
ideology. Chad, have you been exposed to white supremacist ideology? <laughs> no, literally never. I don't think I ever have. Yeah, like in a video game, I've never had that. Anti-French ideology. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I play Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh's racist now, chat. You heard it here first. Honestly, somebody asked me earlier how I got into this work because it seems like a very niche area, but it was this report. When I saw that the... Th I thought the number is so high, it can't be that high. It can't possibly be that high. No, that's the number. We have to do something about that. That's terrifying. We could be using ta this taxpayer money to, like, help, like, homeless veterans in America. But, like, this 80 grand to help, like, people in need or people, like, impoverished in in America. But we, but we choose to do this instead. We, we have to fight white supremacy in video games that doesn't exist. Infrastructure, yeah, or, like, build a bridge or build a road. Yeah, like, fucking help some libraries. Mm-hmm. In 2021, they did another report looking at the same thing, and they found the number was closer to 1 in 10. <laughs> what is this garbage, bro? This might be the most bittersweet post I've ever written in my tenure with Take This. You may have noticed our plea for financial support earlier this year. As hard as we've worked to make up that gap, we still need significant help. If you need help after the government gives you free money to do whatever you want, I feel like that's a skill issue. Without your support, take this and all our impactful programs will cease to exist. Good. Good. Be gone. Thought. Um, over the past decade, video games have increasingly become focal points of social activity. I think that games have always been social activities, especially when, like, MMOs were at their peak, man. Relationships made and fostered in game economy, ecosystems routinely cross over into real world, yeah, yeah, yeah. Correspondingly, extremists have used video games and targeted video game communities ranging from propaganda creation to terrorist mobilization and training <laughs> yo chad when were you like the two taught to be a terrorist bro bro <laughs> video game. Never. Never seen white for supremacist ideology in 20 years of gaming. The only thing I've seen is dwarf supremacy and that WoW guild was based. Yeah, there was like guilds that were exclusively dwarves or night elves and they like role play and stuff and it's funny. They never like do that shit, man. They just role play and it's funny. Gaming developers in general, from small independent studios to billion dollar multinational corporations have lagged in awareness of how extremists may attempt to exploit their games and how their communities can be targeted for radicalization. Chad, I've never heard of this. Where are they found where are they finding these men? Then do these people think that the military using video games to train people is also bad? Um, probably. By that logic, right? What is it, buddy? Why are you barking? Oh my god. You guys want to hear him? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Woof. Woof. What is it? <laughs> Fucking. Oh, come on. Get out of here. All right. There you go. 
that's my source. I made it the fuck up. Yep, that's right. This po joint project from Center of Tar Terrorism, Extremism, and Counterterrorism take this and logically seeks to develop a shared framework for understanding extremism in games. Chat, um, CSGO is the most popular game on Steam right now, and it has been for years. What if these guys actually think that... That, like, terrorism and stuff like that exists in real life and, like, CSGO. And that's why the statistic is so high. They're like, plant the bomb and, like, shoot the terrorists. Terrorists win. Counter-terrorists win. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. Dustborn. Let's go! This includes the development of a said best of practices, centralized resources for monitoring and evaluation of extremist activities. Dude, I can't read this garbage, man. This is so bad. A series of training workshops for the monitoring and detection and prevention of extremist exploitation in gaming spaces for community managers. For trust and safety professionals. Yeah, there's there's Dustborn. Nah, su suck my whole ass. You get, you already took 80,000 of like our taxpayer dollars and you want more? No. Why are they thinking that you need to be monitoring to extremists? Leave that to the feds or you're not qualified? Because they're self-righteous white people that think they know better than everybody else. Even like the minorities that they think they're helping. Obviously. Or maybe they pissed away the $80,000 and now they need to actually, like, show something to, like, the government. And they have nothing. People would rather pay $80,000 for them to remain closed. <laughs> Gatekeeping is important to retain our gaming communities. I don't... I don't like gatekeeping in gaming communities, but this is like something that is so outrageous. I genuinely think that it's such a waste of like government resources and like my taxpayer money. Like it, all the Americans here probably pay their taxes. Probably. I'm not saying all, but probably. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I pay my taxes. Haha, <laughs> smile. Is this American tax money? Yes. And Europeans, lest we forget all the Euros that are laughing, you paid for this. You paid for Dustboard. Your taxpayer money in Europe paid for this garbage. You're laughing and saying, haha, America? You're doing it too, man. We gotta stop this. America and EU need to unite. US did too. No, they didn't. It was an it was a Nor it was a Norwegian company. Not only Norway. Nope. It was EU taxpayer money. It's not only N Norway. You're wrong. <laughs> We need to, we need to unite. Oh, yeah.